God, I wish it wasn't at 1300 RPM. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and make a split collet so I can hold these and trim off that excess down the bottom and then flip it around and face off uh, the head that's cutting over on the bandsaw right now. But you know what? Before I even do all that, let me confirm that I can't hold this in the chuck because of this big head up here. I don't know, for some reason, I do not think this is going to work, but it might. God, I wish it wasn't at 1300 RPM. Oh! Nice! I really wish uh, them guys wanted thicker heads on these things. Okay, I miscut a couple of these and left uh, a ton of meat up here. And I really don't have time to, to be mucking around with this stuff. This needs to be, this head needs to be 200 thousandths. So let's make quick work of these uh, couple of fat ones that I miscut. Okay, here we go. That was 30 thou right there. Hey everybody, it's the following day and time to kind of wrap up this project. The next step that I'm going to take is to remove this 5 sixteenths to effectively remove the center because as I discussed before, their sample did not have a center hole. And it would intersect with that hole anyway. So we need to get rid of that and I'm going to show you the way that I'm doing it. I'm not saying it's the proper way to do it or the only way to do it. It's just the way that I'm doing it. I've already deburred that hole and this is a 3 16 drill bit. This is a 3 16 hole. I'm just going to leave it poking out just a little bit. I'm going to bring it right up against the drill bit. So I'm on the edge of the hole. Now I'm going to zero. Well, let me show you first. I have the compound sitting at 90 degrees to the chuck. I'm going to take out the backlash and put it up against the drill bit one more time. I had forgotten to mention that. All right, so that's 10. Boy, this dial is getting hard to read. Now I've determined that from the edge of the hole to the end of the part is 300 thousandths. So I've got the I got the backlash taken out and I'm going to move this way 300 thousandths. There's one. Okay, so now we're 300 thousandths from the edge of the hole and I'm going to use a parting tool to go ahead and just make a mark in this thing to give me a reference on how far I need to face down to. Ready? 
So now I'm going to go ahead and swap tools and we're going to go ahead and face this off right down to this point right here. I'm just going to go ahead and face right down to this point right here and get it done as fast as I can. Now the whole point of facing all this material off is to get rid of that center hole. So I calculated 5 sixteenths. Let's see if I'm right. getting there. Still a bunch more to go though. Each one's taking about uh, four minutes total. Kind of got it down to a science now. So four times 40, 160 minutes. A couple hours. Yeah, it's like 150 thou. So, apparently I have 40 more parts to go. That ain't going to be bad at all three little cuts. And that completes the 40 parts for the rush job. Well here they are. I'm fixing to call the customer, let them know they're ready for pickup. Oh, and I forgot, uh, if there's any volunteers that want to come over and help clean up this shop, this job made it a total disaster. Let's pan you around a little bit. Chips everywhere. Just leave your comments down below if you want to help.